Yo, what's good YouTube and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video guys, I'm gonna show you the new best class for the M16 after its buff Now we're gonna get into our build and we're gonna start with the muzzle and we're gonna be using the slash gen 2 Now this can help with muzzle flash concealment and recoil steadiness now since the M16 did get a fire rate buff this weapon's going to be everywhere, jumping everywhere. I mean, it's hard to control without no attachments. Now, this can help the M16 be more calm. We're more on point, being accurate. The weapon's really easy to control. So this attachment here is a must-have for the M16. Now, for the attachment number two, we are going to use the underbarrel and run the Edge 47 grip. Now, this is by far the best underbarrel here in Modern Warfare 2. You've probably heard me say that a hundred million times, but this attachment is very, very important for the M16. It's going to help with some recoil stabilization and aiming auto stability. It's going to help the M16 be a little bit more calm. You're going to be hitting your shots and everything. And I think this attachment is a must-have. Now, for our next attachment, guys, we're going to the rear grip and adding on the X10 grip. This is going to give us more aim down sight speed and handling. Now, the M16 already has some good handling, but I want to buff it up a little bit, make us a little bit more aggressive. And it fits our class up just because the M16 did get a buff in the damage and the fire rate. It's going to help us be a little bit more aggressive. So we're going to go ahead and add this attachment on. Now, for the stock, we are going to be adding on the Assault 60 factory stock. This is going to give us crouch movement speed, aim down sight speed, and sprint speed. Now, crouch movement speed really doesn't fit my play style. It may fit some of yours, but my objective for my class ups is to try to make you more aggressive, you know, have that running gun type of play style and just help you get as many kills as possible. So we're working on that handling. We're working on that mobility and everything. And since this weapon did get a handling buff, it's just a perfect match to run this. So we're going to be adding on the Assault 60. Now for our final attachment, since the iron sights are super ugly, and I feel like everyone can agree, we are going to be adding on the Slimline Pro just for a red dot sight, and I do think it is the best red dot. Now jumping into our tunes, guys, we are going to start with the red dot sight, and we're not going to change anything on that left bar, but if you really want to, you can max this out for less visual recoil. But since I am using an M16, and I like to take my gunfights to longer ranges, I am going to keep this at 0.00, because it's not going to have any zoom outs, it's just going to be more zoomed in, and we're just going to change our aim down sight speed here on the left bar to 2.42 so we're aiming down sights faster and everything but also we're going to be more zoomed in on our red dot sight so we're not going to change anything here on that bottom bar now for the stock we are going to put our aim walking movement speed at 1.47 this is going to allow us to have more mobility when aimed down sights so we're strafing faster and moving faster when aimed down sights and then we have some aim more aim down sight speed here at 2.97 so when aiming down sights with our m16 build and you're going to see that in today's gameplays it's just instant it's going to help me get more kills when in those gunfights now for the rear grip, we are going to put our sprint to fire speed at 0.26, just giving us a little bit more handling. And then we have some recoil status at 0.68, just to allow our M16 to be a little bit more calm, keep it more steady. Now for the Edge 47 grip, we are going to max out that aim walking movement speed, so we just have a lot more mobility when aimed down sights. And also we have some more recoil stabilization to keep our weapon more calm at 0.54. Now for our final attachment, guys, for the muzzle, we are going to put our gun kick control at 0.32 and our aim down sight speed at 0.42. So when aimed down sights, it's super fast. So you're going to be winning those gun fights. And also with that gun kick control, it is going to bring the weapon more down when firing since it did get a fire rate buff. The weapon's going to be kicking up more, so definitely having this on is going to calm that weapon down a lot. But this is a class up you need to use for the M16. It's really nice. It helped me get two gameplays that you guys will love. So if you guys are new here, enjoy today's video. Make sure that like button, subscribe to the channel with those on so you don't miss any more videos. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. Here lately, they have been giving me a lot, uh, a lot of great maps here, especially Dome. We've had Dome a couple times here in the recent videos, but I mean... Always good to have a classic throwback map, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully in the next COD, um, we do get some good maps. If it being uh, my favorite, Comeback or Terminal. Uh, Hard Hat was a good one. We do have the Sentry Gun now, so we are cooking. But I will say this, if you are going to run the M16, if you don't copy my class, it's fine if you don't. But... You need attachments that's going to help with recoil control and recoil stabilization. And up close, I I don't know if it's... I don't, I don't think it's that weapon still, even though it is buffed in the fire rate. And I thought my weapon just didn't hit him. Alright. Hopefully I can... I need to call this VTOL and there we go. I mean, I... There's a lot of, you know, A-tier, S-tier weapons. But the M16, I would say it's probably like a... 
I don't know. I'd probably give this like a a C tier, honestly. Just the M16. There's been some CODs that the M16's been very nice in, but just honestly, I I think the M16 is a C tier here in this COD. We're gonna go ahead and pop this sentry gun down before that guy shoots at me. There we go, and I believe that there. I knew there was someone right there. I, those shock charges are so annoying. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna run up here, and we are gonna do a flank. We got another VTOL, which is always good. Having a, a good supply of uh, VTOLs is always good for those high kill games. And we just need my sentry gun over there to kind of put some work and never mind no sentry guns putting in work anymore all right let's keep this up though a little preem i'm gonna wait to call my advance in hold on we're gonna push in with this guy and of course it's the same guy that p90 i'm sure with you guys been loving the P90 class up and everything the last few days. I mean, I just wanted to say thank you guys for the support here recently. And if you guys are going to start using my class ups against me, I might have to quit uploading class ups. Because I'm getting cooked. We are getting cooked. We are getting cooked. Throw that down there. Easy kill. Yo, teammate, teammate, help me. Thank you. I thought I was going to die for a second. All right, teammate. I, I had a push. I mean, TJ is just slapping me right now. We're going to chuck that right there. Sentry gun down. I, okay, I, I had to make sure I had to get, I got him. I, mean, I had to make sure, I had to make sure. All right, he's in the containers. I am going to sit right here for a second, just wait for him to run at me. One burst. A little kill chain. There we go. I am going to call this other VTOL in. I saw you. Don't worry. You're getting ego child there, bud. I am going to call this advance in as well. Double kill. Thank you, M16 and advance UAV. Alright, I am going to hurry up and push over here. With this M16, it definitely allowed you to be more aggressive compared, like, if you guys watched my video from two weeks ago on the M16 to the M16 now, I mean, you can tell an easy difference on which weapon allows you to be more aggressive and why me, bro. I, I've been killed by four different P90s this game. And we're bringing this game back, so that's always good. There we go. I mean, we um, this might be a game where we just get a lot of kills, not even a nuke. So, but sometimes that happens. Sometimes it happens. You know, we have uh, as of right now, we have some we have some warriors using the P90, and that's a little six piece right there. Oh my God, that's insane. Let's go ahead and call that VTOL in. We're at 86 kills. I mean, we got something here. Hold on. VTOL shouldn't kill me. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. I got this. We got this. There we go. Quad feed. 
That dead silence. I haven't even used my sentry gun. I could have definitely used something different, but... Yeah, in the comments, let me know, like, name three... Name three streaks that are not in this game that you would add to the game. And I don't think my veto killed him. I right, we're on a relentless. We're gonna hurry up and get over here. We still have a lot of ammo. I'm not worried at all. There we go, the brutal. And I do like, since I am using a three round burst weapon, you know, I'm not reloading every time I get a kill. I, I mean, I do it still, but realistically, I don't need to do it. All right, let's go. We have like, I believe we're one kill away. I would like to know how many kills I have or what streak I'm on, but unfortunately they don't have the little kill counter anymore that they should be in the game. But we have 110 kills. We just got our first snook, which is all right. And there's a claymore. You're not killing me. Thanks for letting me know someone was around that corner. There we go. Yeah, you guys are getting cooked right now. 35 gun streak. Haven't even used the, my sentry gun yet. We're going to jump up here, though. We are going to place this sentry gun. We're going to run down here. They should spawn right here. I do have to remember there is a claymore. Never mind, it disappeared. That's okay. Okay, okay. Hold on. And you're down here. I mean, I could give them time, but... I'm not that type of guy to give y'all time. They're gonna be spawning here, I'm hoping. Yep, they are. Alright. I'm chilling. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. On a 40 gun streak. And I unfortunately think we're gonna have to call the nuke in here in this round. Maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna have to call the nuke in here, unfortunately. Yeah, give me that. Give me the streaks. All right. Yep. Well, we're gonna have to call the nuke in. They unfortunately kept capping out, but uh, hey, it's a GG. I'm gonna try to hunt for two kills real quick so I can get 130. Oh, that sucks. There's one. Well, that is uh, that sucks that we ended off in an odd number, 129 kills. That does suck, but hey, we started clutching up at the end. Let's go. All right, let's try the M16 on some good old shipment. Now, I do think with the games that I have played with the M16 so far on shipment, we've had some unlucky ones, but the M16 is actually so much better to use now on, on this map. Like, I won't lie here, like the last few times, I mean, it's actually been kind of rough to use. Get out of here. I don't care if you drop the nuke in Warzone. You ain't dropping a nuke in here. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that much, bud. Yeah, but hopefully we can get some streaks. If we get a UAV. And what are you doing? Apex, you left. See you later, bozo. There's actually some more people that's actually dropped the nuke in Warzone in here. Holy. I'm telling you. I'm not that guy. I'm not the guy that's in your warzone lobbies. I'm 50 times better. Hold on, I'm chasing him. Alright, we got the helicopter. That's what I want. We got Biffle on our team too? That is lit. I didn't know Biffle was 8 though. Alright, let's keep this up. Yeah, that that's a quad feed with one bullet. It's a GG. Let me just let everybody know. Hey, we doing, big fella? Yeah, it's a GG. What are we doing? Let's go ahead and get that reload. I think definitely if you are going to run the M16 in shipment, make sure you have the larger magazine size on because I feel like I'm, I'm actually flying through bullets now. Get that one burst in. You already know. I'm dead. Yep. I, did, I didn't know that could explode through two containers, though. But, hey, we live and learn. We live and learn. All right. 
36 kills. I mean, it looks like we're getting like a we're getting like a kill a point almost. Imagine I drop my highest kill game here. Yeah, you guys are getting cooked. And if you guys are watching still, you know, this is the second gameplay. I know this is a weird question. You probably have never heard this question before, like in a gaming video. But what do y'all put on y'all's hot dogs? What do y'all put on y'all's hot dogs? You know, we get Memorial Day coming up. Uh, it's tomorrow, so... I think that's a, an actual really good question to... What do you guys put on your hot dogs? That's a good question. And that's a trophy, so I have to be careful. See ya, bud. That's why you don't run a sniper in shipment. We're over here punching people. I'm not gonna let you kill me. I do promise you that there, my man. Get a reload in. Where is everybody at? They should. S I lied, I lied, I lied. Oh, Lord. Yep, it's a GG. Teammate. In the utmost respect, you blocked my flashbang. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Never mind. Yeah, I'm definitely dead, dude. I'm, I feel like I'm the only one doing something in this game. Kind of sucks, but... It t I think it takes more people... You know, you can... You, you as a player can have map control, but you honestly want your whole team to have map control. It helps out so much more. Trying to get more kills and everything, but... But we're, we're going to keep it up. We'll see. Following these counter UAVs, they do help out a lot. Throw that over. We'll go ahead and call this in. You guys are getting joked on, bud. And I tried. I tried juking them out. If, if we had movement from, like, Vanguard, 100% I would have put rollerblades on them. I'd be running around here like I have rollerblades on, 100%. Let's go ahead and chuck that over. You're not killing me. Won't allow it. Won't allow it. Let's go ahead and call the dead silence in. Helicopter got him. Wild card got me. That should be a kill. Dude, I, I can't do anything this game. I am not going to lie. I mean, regardless, the M16 did get a buff. I mean, I, I'm. It, it's a weapon that, like, it, it's a hit or miss. It probably depends on what lobby you're playing, honestly. With, let's go ahead and call this in. They're spawning on top of me. How is this even fair? I feel like I'm getting that luck that John Wick did in John Wick 4. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody's running at me. I don't have a chance to breathe. Alright, we got the flashbang. Hey, bud. Those one bursts are so lit. Hold on. There is. Nope. There. I'm blind. Alright, let's go ahead and call this other helicopter in. Let's get some snakes in. I'm shooting at my teammates. How dare I? Wow. All right, one off the helicopter again. There we go. These guys are gonna get cooked. Hold on. Y'all gotta start checking y'all's corners. Y'all are just getting cooked. I'm telling, this is how I am in rank play. Like, I'll, I'll kill you. I'll move to a different spot. I'm like 20 times worse than Shotzi, but Shotzi does it better than me. Make it sense. Making sense. All right, that should kill me probably. Never mind, I lied. They're gonna keep spawning here.
How is this fair to me? I'm not gonna let you kill me again. I'm telling you. I'm dead. Yep, that kills me. I'm on a. I was on a 23. Come on, man. 121 kills though. I'll take it, I guess. I'm telling you, if I have the movement, I'm winning. And of course, uh, that about killed me. That would have that. I've died a lot this time. I, I I like to keep my deaths as low as I can, but it seems like it's not gonna happen here. Let's go ahead and chuck that over. Hold on. I know you see me. go let me get another advance that might help me um i have i have these guys looking in the sky as well so that's always good we got another helicopter inbound just give me some time there we go all right let's go ahead and call that helicopter in since i have the time to do it you're actually a monster using that shotgun. How dare you? I will never upload that shotgun again. I promise you guys that. And there's just like, I don't know, like that. Like, imagine, like, I upload that video and, you know, 100,000 people see it, just per se. It, it's my fault that everybody's using it, you know? Alright, we got another helicopter. Always good, always good. I needed the advance. I'm like, can we kill off one? How unfortunate is that? I did not get one one burst. And I've been getting them all game. I feel like this game really nerfs me at some points. I'm not going to lie. I feel like every good player in COD now, like, they somehow get nerfed. Like, I really do. I do believe that now. You know, because, like, the whole new generation of COD, everybody, if you're good, everybody thinks you cheat. So, it's like, that's how it is nowadays. It's unfortunate, but it's just how it is. And I promise you, not everybody cheats in this game. Especially since there is a new anti-cheat in the game. Like, no, there's not too many hackers anymore. Like, I I haven't ran into a hacker and I can't tell you how long. I really can't tell you how long it's been. Hold on. My dive is so scuffed right now. Let's go ahead and hel helicopter in. 172 kills. All right, that's a teammate. About died. I can't see. Dude, I'm doing circles now. See, like, they've they've nerfed the sliding 100%. Just chuck that right there. 177. Give me 180 at least. I think I'll be happy with 180. They're behind me. Hold on. Double counter. Got those headshots on point. This has been a pretty lengthy shipment map. We are going to win, though. Yep, and we got the advance. That's a GG. Can I... Oh. We're five kills away. Unfortunate. I'm not going to get it. 
I might. Two more kills. Can I do it? Can I do it? Yep, 200 kills with the M16. That was difficult. You know, you have to crouch, you know, sometime, right? Hey, let's go, though. We got the dub. We got 200 kills. I mean, I think... I think this is a huge W in the books. Shotgun time. Boom. Bam. And we got an MGB as well. I... Hey, that's a plus. Let's go. An MGB. 207 kills. I mean, we're going to take that W. Also dropping 200 kills with an M16 is, I think, really impressive. Let's keep it going. Let's go. 210 kills. We got that dog in us. Let's go. 210 kills. 2 and 11. We got an easy little tactical nuke. Let's go.